People laughed at me when I said I was going to catch a peacock on this. Oh, that was a big fish. <laughs> What do you think about my little jig now? It, it works. How many doubles we got today? A dozen? <laughs> Woo! -hoo. That can be wherever he wants to be. Let's double up. Oh, right here. Reel up, reel up, reel up. We already got one. We already got one. Oh. Okay. I mean, like, this is the best freshwater fishing there is. Can't get another oh, right oh, there's there. another one. He was chasing it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here in Hollywood, Florida at a secret location with my buddy Zach Carmen. We're going to do some peacock bass fishing today. What's the plan? We got a couple pipes out here. Catch some peacocks, maybe some tarpon, some snook. Uh, we'll see what we go around. I got what, three or four spots that we'll probably catch a dozen or more fish on each hole. So yeah, That doesn't sound like it sucks. We got beautiful weather today. It should be a really good day out on the water. We'll see you on the flip side. So we're gonna go to our first spot here where I caught a big real nice nine pound peacock last time towards the middle of the day we'll run back on the inside of the lake there and That drag ripping a little bit. Not ready. Pretty good. Pretty good. Tell us about your uh, your first experience with one of those in that magazine back when you were a kid. Ten years old. Me, and my brother, and my father. One after the other. You can. You couldn't get bored if you tried to. We hammered the fish every time we came and it became an every weekend thing. Never get old. And the tradition of kissing your peacocks started that day. This pipe here runs to other canals and other lakes. This is why it supplies so many fish. Canals right over there. This this trip is sponsored by Biscayne Rod Company. That sticker might be older than me. It's uh, stood up to the test of time. Doubled up on baby rods and reels. She's pretty. There's no doubt about that. These are beautiful fish. They fight like heck. I mean, for a freshwater fish, you know, pound for pound, they're probably the strongest. I think a smallmouth bass might be second, but these guys, these are awesome. I love it. This lady, let's get her back home. My gun ain't popping up, is it? No. <laughs> now I can't have a gun. They'll flag my video. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But I'm going to have that bump there all yeah. the time. <laughs> I can't say shit about a bump. Oh, oh you got him. Oh, there we go. Doubles. Double up. Two doubles. Ooh, this is a good one. Female. Ooh. Hungry today. They're hungry today. Oh man. This one. Oh yeah. Woo. Look at that. Two nice peacock bass. They do not give up. Woo! -hoo. I believe it's almost a fair fight when you use little tiny rods like this. <laughs> There we go. Your dad always calls me Hollywood, and we're in Hollywood, Florida, fishing his old fishing hole, so it, it's fitting. I mean, like, this is the best freshwater fishing there is. You're on already? <laughs> you didn't wait for me to get mine out there. I gotta get one too. Come on now. It's not fair when you cheat. Get a head start. Oh, right here. Reel up, reel up, reel up. We already got one. We already got one. Okay. Look at this, guys. See this? They're schooled up. We got another one right behind them. Look at this. They're everywhere. Dude, there's a nice one right behind this fish. Nice peacock. <laughs> this is a nice one here. Oh. <laughs> He's playing possum, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> playing possum. Come on, girl. Ah. That's a nice male right there. He's bleeding a little bit. We might want to get him back in the water quick. Oh, that's just coloring. Man, he's just really red. Smallmouths. You guys need to come down to South Florida. Smallmouth peacock right there. Pretty much. Oh, come on. Hooked up. I'm trying to get him tackled. I can't even stop catching fish. <laughs> People think you need big fancy rods and tackle and all this stuff to catch fish. This thing was like $20 at Target in 1995. 
Nice peacock right there. Oh, oh there we go. Doubles. I'm working hard at this. Ooh, there goes that little drag. Yeah, look at that. It's got a leech in his mouth. He's got a leech in his mouth. Check that out. It's kind of cool. My jig, my jig is mimicking his natural aura. pipe I would say the lake it runs underneath the street here and it goes to another uh, lake in a complex on the other side of the road you're saying there's some guy that lives here that ain't so nice to fishermen no this guy here does not does not enjoy his fishing here but he doesn't own the lake so I don't care <laughs> I don't think any fisherman cares we're about to catch some some peacocks oh, there's there, another there, one he was get chasing real, real, it real, 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 real over here real over here Oh, I'm already on. <laughs> Look at that. First two drops. Ooh, this is a good one. Taking me wherever he wants to go. Double up. Double up in about 37 seconds. Look at that. First drop. We got an Oscar and a Peacock. Another fish added to the list. The Oscar, baby. People told me I couldn't catch peacocks on my baby camping rod from Target. Oh, oh, I just lost one. That's why you're talking crap. <laughs> oh, come on. You never know out here, man. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice fish. Let's get him in. There we Ooh. go. Man, these guys got that head shake. They don't play. They couldn't inhale it. Oh, there we go. That's what you get for talking crap. <laughs> this little baby reel and this baby rod from Target back in the day. Oh man, there's a big one right here. Just follow this one. Oh, there's a piece of bait right there. We're chumming. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Oh, nice fish. Nice little. He just bites real good. Double up. How many doubles we got today? A dozen? A dozen all day. Maybe 20 doubles. Oh, doubles again. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Man, this dude is not done. Can't really do much with this little rod. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, get him! Doubles again. Oh, <laughs> oh and look at that! Did you get it? Yes. <laughs> Action. Pop it in, fish. Went from, a, went from a shiner to a peacock. Look at that. <laughs> shiner grew, turned green. That's a nice fish right there. Double up. Nah, well, maybe he's just running. Oh, he ain't playing around. He heard that I tried to call him soft and got mad. There we go. I think this reel might be giving out on me. Oh, no, I'm tangled up. Shnikes. Oh, that was a big fish. <laughs> oh my God, what was that? You know how like it, it gets doubled around the reel? Yeah. It was doubled around the reel and it went to go. That was that was by far the biggest fish of the day. Dude, that was a big fish. You just snapped it like it was a toy. I know, that was a monster. That wasn't even the rod or the line's fault. It was the tangle. Operator error. I, I really did buy this at Target, like with lawn lawn money. Or something. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I saw you too. He goes, I got it. <laughs> I'm trying to crankbait, dude. There you go. Get him. Nice fish. Nice fish. He's trying to get it out of his mouth. Might be his biggest fish of the day. Oh, slop. <laughs> slop. This is a six pounder. That is a nice one. Yeah. I think that's the biggest one of the day. Yes, sir.
a great day on the water. The weather was great. We caught a ton of peacocks. I, I can't even remember how many we caught. We, in fact, we doubled up so many times. I even lost track of that. Oh, yeah. You brought us to some of your spots. Tell us what was that all about? Well, them pipes, they just hold the fish running from uh, canals and Okeechobee lakes. They just, they, they provide the fish. We, we brought six dozen and we left with zero. There was one fish. I had a line malfunction. I mean, it wasn't my fault, of course. That thing, we got that on video, you, that was crazy. It, it just was. whacked my line. It was probably the biggest fish of the day, and that's how it always goes out here. But uh, go ahead, go over to Ballistic Gang, pick up some shirts to help uh, support more content on the channel. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Resort Vacation Property of St. George Island, Brownells, Salt Life. Again, guys, if you believe what we believe, that living a waterfall life isn't something you just do for fun, but it's part of being who you are, please like, subscribe, and share my channel so we can inspire just that. Oh, 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 oh,